Hello everyone, we are from True Maths and in this video we are going to solve this first question of exercise 1.6. So here we have to find what will be the value of 64 raised to power half, here what will be the value of 32 raised to power 1.5 and here we have to find the value of 125 raised to power 1 by 3. Now before solving this you must remember certain laws of exponent and what are exponents? If I am writing x square, this means x is multiplied by x. So in this expression, this is known as power or exponent. And this x is known as base. So if I am writing it as x cube, this means x multiplied by x multiplied by x. Now, if I am saying this is 2 square, that means it will be 2 multiplied by 2. And if I am writing this as, again it has another power 2. So, if this is, uh, if the question is still here, so the answer will be this, but there is another power 2. So that will be, again this complete number will be multiplied 2 times. So this number is multiplied by the same number. So here it will become 2 is multiplied 4 times. So here instead of writing these two steps what we can do is if some number has power raised to power some power you have to multiply these two power. Means if I am saying this is x square and raised to power 2 it will become x raised to power 4 the power gets multiplied. So this is the first law which will be applied in this question. Now this is 64 raised to power 1 by 2 and first of all you have to write this 64 as some base and with some power. Means you have to convert this into 2 raised to power something. Now for that what you can do is where you can factorize this 64 so factorizing 64, it will be 2, 32, 2, 16, 2, 8, 2, 4, 2, 2. So it will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 64 can be written as 2 multiplied 6 times or 2 raised to power 6. And Instead of 64, we can write 2 raised to power 6 and half power half will remain as it is. Now we know that if some number has power raised to power, raised to power something, so the power gets multiplied. So you have to multiply the power. So 6 can be multiplied by 1 by 2. That will be 2 raised to power 3. 6 can be cancelled by 2 3 times. So 2 raised to power 3 can be equals to 2 raised to power 3 means 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 3 times so that will be equals to 8 so this will be the answer for this first question similarly if this is 32 raised to power 1 upon 5 again 32 can be written as from here 32 will be same so 32 can be written as 1 2 3 4 5 2 raised to power 5 so 32 can be written as 2 raised to power 5 and this is raised to power 1 by 5. So again you have to multiply the power. So this can be cancelled. So the answer will be 2 here. Now you have to find the value for this. Again there is 5 at the end. So you first of all you can find the factors of 125. That is 5. Again 5. And this will be 1. So 125 can be written as 5 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 5 that is 5 raised to power 3 that 1 upon 3 this can be cancelled so the 5 will be the answer for this third part now this is how you can solve this first question you have to remember that if number having some power and it has another power so the power will be multiplied so this is the law which will which is implemented on these 
question. So this is how you can solve this first question. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. And if you have any problem in maths, you can directly contact to us. The phone number, the email address and the WhatsApp number is given below in the description. Thank you.